this is Chris with Elevate Presents here interviewing Lecky Glass. How's it going? How'd you get your glass blower name? I'm doing well, thank you. I got my glass name uh, because my name is Lexi, but little kids can't pronounce the letter X, so uh, my niece just started calling me Lecky. She's two and a half, and it just kind of stuck. Nice. So. When did you start working with glass? Uh, three and a half years ago, in August of 2016. Very cool. Where did you start working with glass at? Um, I originally attended Tidewater Community College in Portsmouth. They have a glass program there um, and I took one semester of glass 101 and then I got a job through my teacher at historic Jamestown glass house doing production 17th century reproduction soft glass yeah that's very cool so you started out with soft glass and then moved to boron yep after about a year and a half I got more involved with uh, stiffer you know borosilicate glass and I realized you can have a lot more control with it and that's what made me get more interested I guess less soupy yeah for the most part but yeah you so can pull away from the heat and it cools pretty quickly and uh, yeah so you can just be a little bit more precise with it I think where are you working now? I currently work out of the Glass Grind, located in Colorado Springs, which is owned by the lovely Cody Ricketts. Do you have any other uh, stu- shop mates that you work with there besides Cody? Um, well, yeah, there's a couple of people that come through. Matt Z Glass, uh, Gnome Glass, Tony Kazi comes through. Uh, there's a lot of people that are local that like to stop by. It's a really good community of uh, good sportsmanship and support there. So, yeah. Very cool, very cool. Who do you look up to in the glass game? Oh, all sorts of people. Um, (laughs) It would depend on what side of the glass game you're talking about. I would actually say probably Dante in the soft glass game just because he was pretty much born with a blowpipe in his hands. And I mean, it's like he is glass, so (laughs) like just knows what he's doing. And Shayla as well. She's a really big inspiration to me just because, um, you know, stringer tech is something that I'm interested in doing. And she's got a lot of uh, detail oriented. Um, you know, she got an eye for precision and stuff like that, so I aspire to be like that, too. Do you have a favorite technique? Uh, probably the stringer tech, the cut and flip. It's challenging, but it's really satisfying when you can flip a piece, close it up, blow it out, and actually have a piece come out of it. So. Do you have a particular style or design with the uh, cut and flips that you would consider really. yours or something that you tend to lean towards? I like leaning towards floral stuff and then uh, like linear work, um, like triangular, repetitive patterns, and stuff like that, mandala style work. Geometric style. Yeah, style. Oh. absolutely. Love it, love it. Uh, what do you see for the future of the glass industry? Uh, I see it progressing more just because I think that people are becoming more environmentally conscious and they're turning to glass as a resource to help aid in preserving our planet and it'll cause pretty much everybody to deepen their appreciation for it and it can turn them into, you know, maybe collectors themselves, you know, not just using it as a resource, as an element, but as an art form as well. It'll just kind of expand everybody's uh, perspective on it. Do you have any hobbies outside of glass? Um, Yeah, I like to draw and I like to paint uh, and I work with dogs. It's my biggest passion besides glass is animals. Very cool. Final question. This one's a hard one. Do you believe in aliens? And if so, what would they do for a Klondike bar? (laughs) I totally believe in aliens. I believe that they're already here and that this guy's just like us. Uh, And I think they do pretty much anything that a human would just to fit in. You think there's some of them at this show? Probably. I'd assume so. (laughs) I'm pretty sure Yushin's an alien. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. (laughs) From a good good part of the guy. Oh, definitely. (laughs) He's he's come to make glass better for humans. Yes. The gift sent from the universe. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. No problem.